The Augusta Canal is in a current state of disarray. Fish are dying and ecological systems are crashing. We are seeing the destruction of our environment and ecosystems in front of our very eyes. The draining of the canal to fix the art building has had a very damaging impact on our ecosystems in the canal in front of our school. It is causing a rancid smell and multiple deaths of fish and animals that call the canal their home. The canal was drained just low enough so that the water is not flowing over the canal head at the end of the canal. And this is causing stagnant water, oils, and dead animals to build up on the top of our canal. These oils are coming from the decomposition of these fish and the plant life that is in the canal. In our AP environmental science class, we went out to take water samples of the canal and it showed that the dissolved oxygen level in the canal was below two. This is very dangerous as fish need that dissolved oxygen to breathe, which is why we can see many animals like these fish coming to the surface to try and get any ounce of oxygen that they can. This is our AP environmental science teacher, Mr. Carl Hammenbeyer, and these are his thoughts on the events of the canal. My name is Carl Hammenbeyer. I teach environmental science and human anatomy and physiology and research at Davidson Fine Arts Magnet School in Augusta, Georgia. All right, so what happened in the Augusta Canal? We had the um, you, Augusta Utilities drew down level one of the canal. So that stopped any new water from flowing into, we are at level two in front of the school and level three behind the school. So level two had no new water inflow but it had tons of vegetation that was decomposing. When it got warm, that bacterial growth increased drastically, and when bacteria grow, they pull the oxygen out of the water in order for their own metabolism, which then made the water level dissolved oxygen go down and down and down. We recorded it at between two and three milligrams per liter, which the EPA says the lowest level should be five. What happened is then the fish started to literally suffocate. They couldn't get enough oxygen to breathe, so they started coming to the surface. We, we saw catfish coming up and literally gulping air um, uh, because they are physostomous. They can breathe in air and put it in their bladder. But I still don't think they survived. The brim, on the other hand, um, just floated belly up on the surface and there were tons of them out there over the weekend, Monday and Tuesday of last week. Finally, the um, canal authority was able to get them to raise the water level, so they brought the water level up in the canal, which then brought in a flush of fresh water, which pushed out much of the dead vegetation and lots of dead fish. So there are some catfish down in the Savannah River, quite happy right now because they're having free and reduced brim for lunch. Um, this situation has resolved, but any time that they cut off the gates at 13th Street, the thing could have the same problem could happen. We saved a bunch of fish. We will put them back in the canal as soon as conditions are favorable. So we are back out here at the canal. This is about two weeks later, and as you can see, the water level's up and it is flowing over the canal head at the end of the canal. Um, we are seeing an increase in dissolved oxygen levels. Much greener and less dying foliage is in the canal, and you don't see any fish floating on the surface because they're all either flowing over into the lower levels of the canal and they're staying up here and they're bottom dwelling like catfish. There are American eels and catfish that will dwell towards the bottom at the canal to get food. And as you can see, everything looks like it's okay, but soon enough they'll drain the canal again and it'll be a repeat cycle. This is why I'm making this documentary to bring attention to the issues that we're having with this. If the canal level's low, ecosystems will collapse and fish will die. And that is a big problem. 